Right, my friend, as I say, never give up. So back to this little Peugeot. So uh, a big thanks to all who chipped in in the comments to help out with this one. So uh, I think Steve actually helped out. Uh, you know, Steve for simple diagnostics. I spoke to him, so he pointed me in the right direction. But so did everybody else. So thank you. So what you can actually see in here is there's two sensors. There's one there, and there's another one there. So the one for the coolant sensor is indeed this one. I've disconnected the other wire. That seems to be the other wire. So that just seems to be a one wire job. I can't actually see it. Let's see, let's see, there's only there's only one wire in that thing. So maybe that's the way it works. So I don't know. Quit that. That's a that's a temperature sensor, obviously, into the cylinder head. But this is the one here. So. Steve says to be make sure that the fans come on, so that's what I done. So you can see on the scan tool here, with that sensor connected, we're reading 19 degrees. And what he said was, make sure you disconnect the right sensor, see if it generates a code, and the fan does come on. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll go in and disconnect that and see if it goes to minus 40. So I'm trying to do two things at once. So that's the, the green one disconnected, right? We agree with that. So we'll go back in the scan tool and I'm just done it through normal OBD. You can see there. Good, minus 40. And if we start the car, we should hear the fan come on. Steam ahead. So if we then go back into the scan tool, uh, it's out of there. Uh, previous menu. The read codes. I think I've been tamed in. So there you go. Engine coolant temperature sensor circuit high. So we agree with that, it is high, so that's the one, that one's working fine, so it must be the other one that sends a signal somewhere along the, the to bring on that, I'll you know, just stick this on. You hear the, the engine keeps running. You can hear that the, the fan just stopped, so. So there you go, I just... I'm seeing that's a coolant uh, sensor, it's no, it's an oil pressure switch. So you can see there, I just took my test light and I grounded it out. And there's, th there's 13 volts on that when it's open, but when you ground it out, I see my test light on there. So you can see that the oil pressure lights. Look at that. You can see it jumps back up to 13 volts. pressure light goes out so that's so one's a coolant and one's an oil pressure <laughs> oh dear the task goes on well everybody sometimes you've got to slow down to speed up as they say so I drew up a bit back to the Veris to see what I could drop because it's quite good at graphing and as you can see there I found this pin that says coolant temperature reference value then coolant temper temperature value so we're certainly currently sitting at 235 degrees, yet the car's looking for 233. Now I've been sitting there uh, just idling with this thing, you can see we're just idling now. And indeed when it does go over the threshold, the fan is coming on, so I've just got to check. The fan should be on there or there enough in now. Fan's not on yet. But it was cycling on and off. But I don't know how many degrees over it has to be. Bot hose is just. Shows my bot hose. So that fan should be getting ready to come on, but I need some temperature this car. 
So believe me, I was in it earlier on and it was cycling on and off, but it seems to be quite happy at 235. That's about, that about 111 degrees Fahrenheit. That is well higher. Let's see if we can get the flat to come on. Now, just as I put the camera off, you'll never believe it, it started to boil up again. So you can just see, I'll go back to the graph, but you can see that the reference value was at 233 and I think the actual value was at 237 and it never brought the fan in. So what I just done was I just pulled the coolant the temp sensor plug off and you can see there it went down to minus 34 and that cooled it down. So the problem is fan control, definitely fan control. And why it's allowing to get that high, I do not know. Somebody had said maybe a software issue. I'm beginning to think that is the case. You can hear this, the fans going in now, Baleo. Let's keep it 180. Out of that and out. This is difficult to do this. So, let's go to codes. So engine coolant sensors. So that's that's because I pulled the, the sensor circuit off. So what we'll do is uh, put the key on. And this this code keeps reappearing. Clear the codes out the thing. Let's change in hands here, I think. Fail to clear trouble codes. Fault remaining. Please ensure the fault. Let's go back into the codes again. communication issue. So I had to do this before. Exit, stop communication, continue, then go back in again. Codes. So they're all still there. Back out of that. Clear codes. There we go. Easy to reset. One, two, nine, ten. It's back on after 10 seconds. There we go. So we'll go back into codes. Nothing present. Go to data. I think it's this one in here. Uh, there we go. Cool on reference. So there we go. That's quite nice. It kept it. Here we go again. Oh. Well, it's disappeared. So this reference value goes wonky. So 204, 206, and then the other one's at 185. So let's have a look at the week. So you've seen that yourself, the fan didn't come on even though it reached 106, 
uh, but when you put the fan on it controls it lovely so why is the fan not coming on someone has said and Steve said as well software issue I think that's the note we're going to cheers right I thought I'd show you this so when I was in the car you had uh, I drew up these pids I found in the engine management so you had coolant temperature reference value now I'm assuming that's what's inside the computer or what it wants to see then we've got coolant temperature and Fahrenheit so that's actually what's coming from the that temperature sensor I showed you and then that's just the engine speed I was revving up to get the heat up in the car but the funny thing is and when I spoke to Steve at Simply Diagnostics he said this shouldn't well one he didn't know why it was there he wondered if it maybe was a rogue pit or two if it is true why is it so variable so you can see that when the car's starting off there so let's go back to the beginning here so I can't even, well, it started off at 158 degrees, so whatever that is in centigrade. Can't even remember, but that would be about 60 or something like that. Anyway, no matter. So you can see there, uh, put the cars, we can just come along and watch these figures up the top here. Uh, that's so there you go, it's looking for 213 and the car's at 206. But then the next thing it takes a dive and it goes back lower again. And then the next thing it goes up to 233, so... Initially when I started this car, it was behaving itself and the fan was cycling on, but eventually it just quit, it didn't bother after that. So let's see. So there it's looked for 219 and then it was at 215. It'll, it'll come out. So you can see there we come along and it goes at 233 and the actual value goes to... Zoom in in there. So we were at 2.31, that was at 2.35 and the fan did not come on. So if we go to the next one, this is when I then, you can see it takes a dive because I then, that's when I pull the coolant thermostat off to bring the fan on and that worked lovely. And then that frame there, that's when I put it back on. Uh, let me see, that's at the end there so. So, we really don't know what's going on here. A software issue, or I was talking to a guy who's a Peugeot specialist, he says you can reset the adaptions. So I don't know if the Veris does that. I could look at that, or maybe I need the Peugeot too, or maybe indeed the car needs to go to Peugeot, Peugeot, or however you pronounce it. But uh, I thought that was quite interesting, these pids there. I mean, that's wild. But as I say, Steve thought actually it would have one of these temperature sensors in the tank, the header tank, but this car's not got that, so there we go.